Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. Today's Pick a Card reading is a subscriber requested title and we will be asking Spirit, what can you expect in a relationship with your person? Okay, so I feel like this is going to be a pretty awesome reading. Always keep in mind that these are general readings, so not all messages will resonate for everyone. Only take what resonates with you and your intuition and leave the rest behind. These are also timeless readings, so the publish date really doesn't matter. Whenever it crosses your path, you could have messages in the reading, okay? Also, if you're interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below and also at the end of each section of this video. Also, there will be an extended for each crystal available on the website, okay? If you're guided to the extended, I'll put the links in the description box below and the link to your specific crystal at the end of each section of the video as well. If you choose not to go to the extended, Please trust that you received all that you needed right here in this reading, okay? So today we have three tarot decks and three crystals to choose from. For crystal number one, we have the Rose Quartz Crystal with the Yuletide Tarot. For crystal number two, we have the Caribbean Calcite with the Light Seer's Tarot. And for crystal number three, we have the Amethyst Crystal with the Royal Romance Tarot, okay? So choose which crystal or card resonates with you most. If you're drawn to more than one, that is perfectly fine. You may have messages in more than one reading, okay? So choose however you'd like and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the Rose Quartz Crystal, and the Yuletide Tarot, this will be your reading, okay, crystal number one. So today we are asking Spirit, what can you expect in a relationship with your person, okay? So the person that you might be interested in or have a connection with, whatever the case may be, whoever you're thinking about for this reading, okay? What can you expect in a relationship with your person? Let's get a general, ooh, lots of feelings about to come to the surface. Ooh, interesting. So for some of you here, crystal number one, I do feel like you have a very strong love connection with someone. And I feel like maybe both of you haven't really spoken the depth of your feelings. So expect a lot of emotion to be coming out here. The truth of their heart revealed. Ooh, nice. Beautiful. So, yeah. Or even if you've, yeah, for some of you, you might have expressed how you feel. I'm also noticing here, this is a lot of blue. Okay, so blue could be important. Um, for some of you, you might have expressed how you feel. But this is the truth of their heart revealed. So, yeah, I feel like you can expect... A lot of truth, a lot of honesty about their emotions, okay, coming to the surface here. And if you're in a relationship with them, I feel like that will continue since that's our question, okay? What can you expect in a relationship with your person? So emotions, love, water energy, you know, a lot of love. Beautiful. Let's see. What else, please, with the tarot? What can crystal number one expect in a relationship with their person? Whoa, got a couple of flyers here. Trying to escape. <laughs> so we have Father Christmas and Eight of Candles. Oh, nice. Okay. So what I'm getting here is that you might have um, a connection with a person here who likes to process, okay? Okay. They don't want to, so I feel like you can expect non-reactive, okay, responses. So 
someone who likes to process what's going on, what's happening before they communicate. Okay, this is a lot of back and forth communication, so I feel like you will expect you can expect an open line of communication with your person. But I'm also feeling with the Father Christmas card, which is the Hermit card, that if they withdraw, okay, for whatever reason, you know, you're having a discussion, whatever the case may be, if they withdraw, it doesn't mean anything against you, okay? It just means that your person is a deep thinker. Okay, is what I'm getting and they want to process before they respond. So they want to make sure that they're responding in a healthy way. So this is really beautiful, a really beautiful start. This looks like um, you can expect a healthy relationship with this person. So this is good. Holly berries. I don't know. Just a, just a side message. Sometimes messages come through specific details, things like that. If those don't resonate, it's fine. Um, could be specific for someone. Holly berries coming through for someone there. Mistletoe. Hmm. You might be expecting a kiss under the mistletoe. Interesting. And Christmas, um, not everyone celebrates Christmas, of course, but Christmas is coming up here this month. So, hmm, interesting. What else? Beautiful. Yes. An open, equal relationship of give and receive. This is beautiful. Queen of Good Cheer is all about unconditional love as well. So I feel like... Yeah, you'll be in a relationship where there's unconditional love, um, understanding, kindness, compassion. Mm. So when things happen, again, non-reactive, right? So when things happen, you know, if one of you is triggered or something of that nature, I feel like it's a you know how you kind of just separate for a second and I don't mean separate meaning break up what I mean is you know the, they separate themselves distance to process okay is what I keep getting so if they you know need to go in the other room for a little while don't take it personal I feel like it's just your person trying to process okay um, this is um, deep love here with the queen of good cheer equal give and take so a healthy um they, they want to give to you you know they want to be generous with their time their love their energy their effort very nice also yeah blue and white in the background there and that backsplash i don't know why this checkerboard is really standing out to me here so i don't know could be something about the game of checkers chess i don't know something um but the blue and white checkers standing out that could be a pattern a pattern maybe in someone's home okay or in their kitchen <laughs> interesting but that's coming through those blue and white checkers came through recently i, I think the message was different though however it did come through recently started using this deck at the beginning of the month so hmm what else can crystal number one expect in this relationship with their person, please? What else? Lots of messages coming through. I feel like this is a relationship that will um, last into the future with that crystal ball there. Okay. They see a future with you. Yeah, they don't want to cause any pain. Um, I feel like this person doesn't want to hurt you. They want to... Again, treat you well, treat you like you deserve, unconditionally love you. Um, you both could have been in a lot of painful relationships in the past is what I'm getting there. They don't want this to continue. They want harmony. So expect harmony, peace, love, open lines of communication. Why Father Christmas, please? For crystal number one, what can they expect in a relationship with their person? Why Father Christmas? This is that distance to process. Why Father Christmas? Whoa. 
We have the Three of Canes and the Knight of Canes. Yeah. So this is about instead of moving forward, okay, with the Knight of Canes, this is the Knight of Swords. Instead of moving too quickly, this is about taking the time because the Three of Canes is the Three of Swords. So sometimes reactivity can cause heartbreak. Things are said that, you know, maybe weren't meant, right? Things said out of anger or hurt. This is avoiding that heartbreak by not rushing into it. Taking the time to process, okay? Beautiful. This is good. This is really good. I knew this reading would be really nice. I could feel it. I could feel it coming. Eight of Candles. Open lines of communication. So this is really good. Back and forth talks. You could spend a lot of time talking with your person. You know, dreams, hopes, wishes for the future. Maybe even past experiences and how they've shaped you. Okay. Beautiful. Eight of Candles. So they might be wanting to tell you about their past. Three of Gifts. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is about working together. I feel to build something. Look, she's creating here. Okay. She looks like she's building this little model house, right? This dollhouse. She's painting it. Could have something to do with a home as well. Okay. Building, maybe building a home. You could be, uh, they could want to build a home with you. And that doesn't mean necessarily build it with wood and <laughs> stuff. <laughs> it could, okay. But I mean, build a home with you, meaning build something solid for the future here. This is a long term. So I feel like you can expect a long term relationship with this person, especially because I was getting that future with the crystal ball here. Queen of good cheer spirit for crystal number one please what can they expect in a relationship with their person so i feel like stability communication openness honesty um peace harmony beautiful beautiful expectations there 10 10 on the timer for crystal number one please why thank you oh nice see open given this is about um holding back sometimes but it's also about generosity okay and that's what i'm feeling here i feel like this person's holding on to multiple things in their arms wanting to give to you okay um wanting to share so i feel like this will be a very beautiful energy of pouring into one another okay beautiful very nice. Ten of Canes. So they're not wanting the painful endings from the past. They're not wanting this to continue. They're wanting a harmonious future. And of course, you know, no relationship is per. Yeah, see? No relationship is perfect, okay? And that's okay because with this open line of communication, your person plans to handle this in a mature way, okay? Backing up breathing through it, really processing what's happened before speaking something or saying something or reacting, okay? And the King of Gifts says to me that this person, once again, wants to offer you stability, okay? The King of Gifts is a very stable, it's the King of Pentacles. It's a very stable energy and someone that has their ducks together, ducks in a row, okay? Um, yeah, this is something really strong and powerful that they want you to feel safety, security, okay? Um, maybe in your past you haven't had that in relationships is what I'm getting with, you know, that Ten of Canes. And maybe they haven't either, okay? Let's get some Oracle cards here to further clarify. What can crystal number one expect in a relationship with their person, please? 222 two, two coming through there as well. So I feel you won't need to worry. There'll be trust. Healing. Yes, yeah, see? And I was about to put it right here. Healing those past situations. Realizing that not everyone is the same. Okay, see? This is beautiful. 
healing relationship. Um, it's a beautiful um, testament to what they see for the future here is that you might have been through and they might have been through some rough stuff, okay? However, they want to move past that. They want to leave that in the past and learn from it, okay? This is beautiful. I love it. All right, what else for crystal number one, please? What can they expect in a relationship with their person? What can crystal number one expect in a relationship with their person? Thank you. Believe in your good luck. Yes, you're going to feel so lucky. They're going to feel so lucky. Smooth sailing, you know, and of course, no relationship is perfect, and that's okay. But this is going to be a good one, okay? You're going to feel lucky. Everything's going to kind of flow in your, both of you, toward both of you. It, it's very, um, yeah, it's feel good, okay? It's a feel good type of energy that I'm getting here. You're going to feel good. So more good things are going to flow to you more good things to feel good about, you know? Interesting. This is so nice. What can you expect in a relationship? Crystal number one. We have a flipper here. Ooh, strength, courage, angels guiding you. See? Ooh, possibly marriage. Interesting. See? bottom of the deck. Now, if you want, you might be new here. So sometimes when I explain these things, guys, if you've been here forever, you're probably sick of hearing me say things like that. However, there are new people that do come to the channel and join this community and welcome if you are new. Of course, I am feeling that energy today too. So I do feel like there's uh, more people here than usual. Um, if you watch my channel, you know that I, if I only pull from the bottom of the deck, if I'm guided, okay. Um, everyone reads differently and that's how I work with spirit. Um, when I'm guided though, I am pulling that card and the temple path is all about marriage for me as a reader. Okay. It, your person already feels like they're on the right path with you toward you. So yeah, I feel like there could be a commitment here in the future. Now, every, not everyone, you know, believes in marriage either. It's a level of commitment that would work for the two of you. You always have to fit these into your own life, your own situation, okay? Angel of strength, though. Strength, courage, and angels are guiding you. So I feel like this connection here is protected, okay? You can expect your person to be strong and courageous and protect you as well. Um, you know, they're going to have your back is what I'm feeling here with angel of strength. They're going to have your back. Okay. And maybe even expect marriage there. Okay. Let's see what else for crystal number one. What else can crystal number one expect in this relationship with their person? Wishing upon a star. Dreams coming true. Wow. Okay. What have you dreamt about with this person? That's what you can expect here. It's, it's going to happen. Believe, trust, trust the universe. Wish upon a star. Your wishes are about to come to fruition here. This is beautiful. Okay. And they want to make your wishes come true too. So they also want to make you happy you know the things that you desire in life they want to they want to be there with you experiencing it it's beautiful mm. yeah this little child here really holding her heart i feel like this is your person um feeling warm when they think of you in their heart space a very tender love here you can expect i feel Queen of Good Cheer, yeah. Nurturing. This is beautiful. Transformation. I love it. So your life is about to change with this person, okay? Are you ready? <laughs> right? 
Are you ready for it? Because here it comes. Butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. They intend on transforming your life in a good way. You know, um, if you've been through some stuff in the past, you know, leave it behind and just focus on this beautiful future. This is beautiful. What else can crystal number one expect here, please, spirit? In this relationship with their person. This person wants to treat you right. Yeah. Ooh, we got poised in, I think, something else. Is there two there? No. Okay. So poised. So I feel like, again, they're going to be that pillar of strength for you. Poised and ready to face the world together is what I'm getting here. Okay. So this is a beautiful message to someone you can count on. Okay. They have your back, right? Yeah. And I feel you'll have theirs as well. Let's see what else here, please, spirit. Hmm. Yeah, there's transformation again. Wow. Crystal number one. <laughs> Expect big change. I mean, location? Location? Something about a location for someone. Also, the sled. I don't know why. The mountain, Aspen. Whoa. Okay, some some specific messages coming through here. Maybe you'll be moving to Aspen. I don't know. There was location, the sled, mountains, Aspen. Um, they could be connected, but they might not be. Okay, take them how they fit. She who changes, Iris, transformation, change, and enchantment. This person's enchanted by you, your love, your beauty, your mystical nature, your mystical nature. Ooh, I just heard that. Interesting, beautiful. So yeah, you're very mysterious and mystical. They love that about you. Mm, intuitive. Reader, someone's a reader. Nice. Someone else is a reader. A tarot reader. I'm sorry. That's what's coming through. Tarot reader. Huh. Interesting. Well, hello, fellow tarot reader. <laughs> if you're here. Um, let's see. Can I get one more, please? What else can crystal number one expect in this relationship with this person? Thank you. Wow, that one almost flew away. Ooh, spell. Intention leads to manifestation. So, yeah, it, you guys are going to be master manifestors together. Because with this card, I'm feeling like your person is also very mystical, very magical, very intuitive. You know, working with angels and guides. I feel like you're going to be master manifestors together. You're going to manifest your dreams into reality with this person. So always expect big things. Dream big. Beautiful. Big dreams. Big dreams are going to come true in this relationship is what I'm feeling, crystal number one. All right, crystal number one, that is what I have for you for today. I am going to go into the extended now where we will get even more information. If you're going to the extended, of course, I will see you there. If not, please trust that this is all the information you needed today, okay? So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the Caribbean Calcite Crystal, and the Light Seer's Tarot. This will be your reading, okay, crystal number two? So today we are asking Spirit, what can you expect in a relationship with your person, okay? So let's see. Well, that was fast. <laughs> Maybe some fast movement. <laughs> Something happening fast. It fell out super fast. Bringer of change. Ooh, nice. Hmm. I feel like whatever your life is now, expect big change when you get together with this person or if you're in a relationship with this person. Um, I just heard interests, something about your interests. 
So maybe there's a shared interest that you guys will be, um, yeah, doing more. Bringer of change, whatever it is, this relationship is going to be pretty transformative for you, for your life. Nice communication, eight of wands. So expect a good communicator here. Maybe not in the past, but maybe there's been some work done. Mm. Someone, uh, for some of you, your person might have been more quiet and not a very good communicator, meaning they kind of held things in. Expect that to change. So this is a lot of back and forth communication and it is very fast moving energy too. So I feel crystal number two, you can expect some fast, big change here. Okay. And it could have to do with communication. So maybe you're used to your person not really speaking how they feel. And this is your person being more expressive. Having those deep talks. Very nice. For crystal number two spirit, what can they expect in a relationship with their person, please? And communication is so important, right? Being open and honest with each other. So I feel like there's openness and honesty coming in this relationship. Thank you. Ooh, long term. Crystal number two. Ooh wee. So this is, yeah, this is powerful. You can expect a long term relationship with this person. This is uh, setting a solid foundation, building a family together, or, you know, having a family, making a house a home, I just heard. Beautiful. So bringing love into the situation. So love. This card can also be about marriage as well. It's the happily ever after card. So, wow. Big energy to start here, crystal number two. Happily ever after. So... I feel with this card, your person may be thinking you're the one, you know, and you might be thinking the same about them. Something about these lanterns here. I don't know. A specific detail. If it doesn't resonate, it's fine. But there's something about these lanterns for someone. Hurricane lamp. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to come in fast, maybe like a hurricane, okay? Like really fast moving. There's something here. Uh, or maybe the relationship is going to move fast, okay? Maybe you're so sure of one another that the relationship is going to move fast. For crystal number two, this is beautiful. What can you expect? What can crystal number two expect in this relationship with this person? Please. What can crystal number two expect, please, in this relationship with this person? Ooh, exciting news. Very good communication with the Page of Wands. Lots of passion, excitement. Hmm, they could be coming toward you with this news here, with this Eight of Wands, communicating something exciting to you. I feel like you're both very excited about one another here. You can accept, expect a lot of excitement in this relationship. And pages are about messages, so maybe it's, you know, um, oh, that's cute. Yeah, like those text mess, cute text messages I'm getting. So like communication throughout the relationship, you know, maybe like those little check-ins, I'm thinking of you, or when they're not with you at work, I just heard. When they're at work, you might hear like little things from them. They miss you or they love you or something. What can Crystal not? Whoa. <laughs> Marriage. Commitment. This is traditional values. So you both could have traditional values and not everyone, you know, wants marriage. So you have to fit it into your life, your 
what you desire from this relationship, but this is a, a higher level of commitment, okay? Uh, this is a very spiritual bond with the Hierophant as well. I feel like you've both ascended to a higher level. So there could be, um, yeah, I heard spiritual practice, uh, maybe a shared spiritual practice when you come into a relationship with this person. But what immediately was coming through was traditional values. And that card is also about marriage as well. So I feel like, and having the Ten of Pentacles here too, uh, this is, I think you can expect long-term commitment here, okay? Uh, lots of excitement, communication. Yeah, openness. Why the Eight of Wands, please, for crystal number two. What can they expect in a relationship with their person, please? Why the um, Eight of Wands? Why the Eight of Wands, Spirit, please? Thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah, see? That's kind of what I was feeling. Um, in the past, this this was might have been painful for you. Okay. I feel like this is about to end. I was feeling that maybe in the past they weren't very good at communicating. They would be quiet and not speak. Um, and maybe you were like, you know, what's going on, right? Like you just wanted to know what they were feeling or what they expected, their intentions, things like that, and they weren't saying. But now I feel like this is changing. This painful cycle for you is changing. So, and it may come as quite a surprise I'm hearing. Yeah, like you might open the door to a conversation and not expect the reciprocal energy there and you're going to get it is what I'm hearing. So you might open the door to something, want to have a conversation and you might expect this to continue. You might expect to, it to be just kind of shut down or your person to kind of withdraw or back up and not say anything. And it's just going to flow. The conversation is going to flow. They are going to engage in this. Hmm. Interesting. So you could have been wishing for them to be more open, more honest, more vulnerable, more communicative. Ten of Pentacles, please, for crystal number two. What can they expect in a relationship with their person, please? Why the Ten of Pentacles? So marriage, family, long-term commitment, happily ever after. This is beautiful. For crystal number two, why is the Ten of Pentacles energy here, please? What can they expect in this really? Ooh, we got the two of wands and, oh, nice. This is beautiful. So this is about making a choice. So they are going to make that choice to invest in the future. Now this is building something, planting seeds and waiting for it to grow. So this could be a long-term goal. They're going to work together with you on. Okay, planning something could have something to do with travel here with this globe. So maybe um, they love to travel. Maybe you love to travel. Maybe that's that thing there, that common interest, doing more of it. Maybe you'll be traveling more. But either way, it's going to be an investment for the future. So I feel like... You can, you can expect them to want to work together and build something. Build this Ten of Pentacles with you. Okay. Putting in that effort. Hmm. Very nice. Page of Wands. So, excitement. You can expect to hear from them more, I feel. Like, in other words, just throughout the day. Just kind of those check-ins. Page of Wands, please, Spirit. What can Crystal Number 2 expect in this relationship? Lots about communication, which is good. So openness. Expressiveness. Page of Wands, please. Thank you. We have the... Yeah, look. Oh, the truth now. Nice. Okay. So what I was feeling here, right? In the past, they might have held back. They might not have sp spoken their truth. They might have hidden their feelings. 
but they're not anymore. Okay, so you can expect the truth now from this person. They might have been um, self-sabotaging this connection is what I'm getting here with the Seven of Swords. They were deceiving themselves. They were having these feelings. They wanted to say how they were feeling, but something in their mind was telling them, nope, you can't do that because some fear from the past, maybe um, a repeat. I just heard something about repeating from the past. So they are, I feel like they're going to tell you the truth now is what I was feeling. And yeah, the seven of swords is definitely telling me that. So if they told you they didn't want to be with you or they told you they didn't care or they didn't want a relationship or they didn't want to get married, whatever the case may be, these are general readings. So I feel like for a lot of different people, it could be a lot of different things. Hmm. Yeah. But for, for someone here, it was kind of like they were saying the opposite of what they truly wanted here. Okay. And that's about to change. They're going to speak that truth now. Beautiful. And say it loud and proud. Oh, so they're proud to have you. So this person is, yeah, they're, they're thankful for you, I feel. What can crystal number two expect in this relationship with their person? Long-term commitment here. Traditional values. I feel like this is a healthy relationship that could be coming here. Oh, happiness. You can expect to be happy, which is beautiful, blissful, joyful. Yeah, this is like a dream come true, I'm feeling. A gift from above. Whoa, a gift from above. They're feeling like you're a gift from above. Yeah, look at this, kind of, right? If you look at the Hierophant right up here, you have this shape, right? Here, and then you have this light. And then here, the sun kind of has that same shape, and the light is coming through. Whoa, so expect their light to shine through and make you extremely happy. Wow. So this person really wants to set a solid foundation with the Ten of Pentacles, plant seeds for the future with you, speak their truth, end a painful cycle that you may have been through with this person of maybe, again, not really speaking their truth, holding back, self-sabotage. Okay, they could have even pulled away from the connection I'm getting for someone. Yeah, denied that they wanted it. They wanted to be with you, but they denied it. And again, only take it if it resonates. That could be a specific message for someone. Let's get some oracle cards here. What can crystal number two expect in this relationship with their person? So they want to really make you happy. Build with you. Death and rebirth. Yeah, transformation. This is all about transformation. Remember, bringer of change. Your life is about to change in a big way with this relationship coming in. Um, expect big change, okay? Um, you know, maybe right now you do things one way, but then when you come together, you come together and things are a little bit different. You know, it's about flowing with that change. It's good change, though. It's good. It's it's definitely a beautiful transformation. With the Ten of Swords, yeah, see, I told you they were grateful. That's what I was feeling. So now I feel like this is them expressing their gratitude to you about this connection. I'm very grateful to have you in their life. Since we're asking what you can expect, that could be part of the communication here them being very expressive about how lucky they feel to have you in their life, how proud they are to be in a partnership with you, in a relationship with you. This is beautiful. And it's a last quarter moon in Sagittarius. So Sagittarius energy could be um, relevant for someone here. Okay, let's see what else for crystal number two. So big transformation. 
Yeah, you know, I mean, it's like when you, if you live by yourself right now, someone else moving into the space or you moving to their space or, or getting a space together, it would be a lot of change, right? You know, so I feel like that's a big change that's coming. Aww, healing, healer of the ages. Lots of heart healing here. So you're both going to heal each other's hearts is what I'm feeling here with healer of the ages. This is going to be a relationship like you've never experienced, you know, it's going to be a happy, harmonious, you know, togetherness is key here. Building. You know, you might have been in uh, painful situations with this person or maybe with others too. This is going to be different. It's going to be a lot different with someone who truly wants to build something for the future with you. We have multiple energies of long-term commitment here. So I feel like it's a very strong um, energy that's coming through for you, Crystal number two. So I feel like commitment is something you can expect here. This relationship to evolve to, okay? Let's see what else for crystal number two. What can they expect? Beautiful. We have a few there and I'm told to take them. So starting out with endless, oh, beautiful. Endless possibilities. So see, this is someone that you can accomplish a lot with together, okay? Um, together you're unstoppable with endless possibilities. There's so much um, beautiful energy surrounding you. Beautiful energy surrounding you. So much you can create together. So I feel like you can expect great things here to create a beautiful, amazing, happy life. Another card about gratitude. So I feel like you're both going to show gratitude for one another here. Okay. Uh, also with this flower here, I feel like this is saying the love is blooming here. So it's getting bigger. It's blooming. It's coming to fruition. And then we have close encounters. And with this one, I'm getting that, you know, you're going to experience closeness, of course, with this person. Um... Almost someone having their heart in a cage for a while. Now, this could have been your person because, again, I was picking up that self-sabotage. They might have been keeping themselves away, really guarding themselves. Well, now it's set free, okay? This butterfly here is being set free. So I feel like you can expect closeness. So if you were at a distance, expect this person to come closer and remain there okay come closer and remain there so this is beautiful this is them unblocking their heart you know opening their heart to you very nice let's see what else for crystal number two what can they expect in this thank you relationship with their person oh you'll have plenty just having one another is enough, I heard there. Wow. So again, not needing much more than your love is what I'm getting here. So this person, extremely in love with you, okay? And all they need is your love with koi fish, koi fish spirit. There is always enough. I feel like you'll have prosperity. This card is also about prosperity. You'll be abundant. Lots of good things coming your way. This is so beautiful. Let's see what else. What else can crystal number two expect? Abundance, happiness, communication, peace. Oh gosh, you can't get better than that. All right, this is beautiful. We have drawn to crystal number one. <laughs> I think some of you might have been. Okay. Only if it resonates, of course, and only if you were drawn there, if you were guided. But I feel like you might have been. Peace. So expect peace. No more, you know, fighting for it. 
Yeah, see? Ooh, in the past. Yeah, I'm picking up, like, you've always had to kind of struggle to get people to just treat you well, you know? No more of that. Expect peace. This person wants to treat you well. This is beautiful. They want to treat you right. They want to bring peace and harmony into your life. They feel you deserve the world, I just heard there. Beautiful. Let's see. Ooh, we have a flipper. You can expect patience, which is beautiful. Kindness. Also determination. So this person is a go-getter. Expect them to be someone who is determined to create change, right? To build something solid for your future also very patient so this is a beautiful energy you know love is patient and kind um so i feel like you can expect kindness compassion patience from this person you know beautiful and ooh, you were drawn to crystal number one weren't you <laughs> okay so swan lake coming through for your final card right now uh, not everything is as it appears to be and see how this swan is a mirror here so I feel like for some of you and this might only be for some of you you may be on the twin flame journey you may resonate with the twin flame journey we could be talking about your divine counterpart here but we don't have to be 2222 also coming through we don't have to be if that doesn't resonate that's okay could be talking about a high level soulmate here as well but swans are very indicative of twin flames okay it is a symbol that can represent twin flames and not everything is as it appears to be the message coming through here is when your person is trying to plan something allow them the space to do so so I feel like you can expect to be surprised quite often is what I'm getting in this situation here. You know, something may appear one way and then all of a sudden it's like, nope, look. And there's a surprise. I feel like your person wants to surprise you with things. Maybe you like surprises. I'm not sure, but that's what's coming through there. <laughs> so for some of you, I feel like it's that. Uh, for others, maybe not. It might not be that you like it, but they do want to surprise you with things, okay? Um, yeah, take it how it resonates, okay? All right, crystal number two, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope you found the reading helpful. I am going to go into the extended now where we will get even more information on this situation. If you're going to the extended, I will see you there. And if you are not, please trust that you received all the information that you needed to receive from Spirit today right here, okay? So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number three, the amethyst crystal, and the royal romance tarot, this will be a reading, okay, crystal number three? So today we are asking spirit, what can you expect in a relationship with your person, okay? So let's see what comes through for you guys. Crystal number three, please, spirit. What can they expect in a relationship with their person? Ooh. Oh, destined, past life. I feel like you can expect this to be your soulmate or your twin flame. Could be the person on your mind. Memories of the forgotten self. I'm also picking up something about communicating. Things that have transpired mm, interesting things that have transpired this could be someone here that you haven't either spoken to in a while or it could be someone that you've kind of lost a little bit of touch with or something okay and that might not resonate for all of you okay always keep in mind these are general 
So only take what resonates, but I feel like you can expect this to be a long-term situation, something that's destined. It's part of your destiny. Well, let's see what the tarot has to say, please, for crystal number three. What can they expect in a relationship with their person, please, for crystal number three? Wow. Ooh, look at this. Someone very stable, possibly very abundant as well. Very patient. Wanting to bring stability into this, your life, this connection. Something about confidence and a business owner too, because entrepreneurial really standing out there. So you could, yeah, prosperity. Um, this person could be building something, a brand, building a brand. Okay. Expect success, prosperity, stability, patience, which is beautiful. Someone who wants to bring a stable life to you, you know, they want to create some sort of stable, solid foundation here. What else for crystal number three, please? What can they expect in a relationship with this person? You can expect them to be very driven to manifest your dreams. Beautiful. I feel like you have shared dreams. Okay. For some of you, you have shared dreams. So you have, wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You have shared dreams. So you might be on the same page with something. Something you desire, they desire too. Building that together. Another card about success. Powerful. Victory. So whatever connection this is that you're watching this reading about, it's pretty powerful. Okay, we'll start there. <laughs> Expect this to be extremely successful, extremely powerful. Something that works out for the long term here, I feel. Okay, lots of excitement, passion for one another. Family, something about a family crest. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to show you this. I don't know if I feel very guided to show you something about a family crest. That could be important to someone. Okay, and of course, if a specific detail doesn't resonate, that's okay. These are, again, general. So it could be a specific message for someone. The letter K is coming through as well. What can crystal number three expect in this relationship with their person? A, K, and A. Knight of Wands, passion. Ooh, your person's very attracted to you. Want to protect you. They are confident in what they feel for you here. Could also be someone who really um, works on spont spontaneity. They, they like spontaneity. So they like spontaneity is what I'm getting here. Okay. Spontaneous. Yeah. So maybe they, maybe you're spontaneous or maybe they are, or maybe both of you are. Maybe you're both kind of like, like to be spontaneous, just kind of do things like, you know, Hey, let's do this. And then you, you know, I feel like you're on the same page with things though. I keep getting that. So I do feel like you're very similar. So expect maybe a lot of similarities between you. Shared dreams prosperity, success, possibly business ownership here, maybe together. Now we have the Eight of Swords here. So you could be expecting an overthinker at times, okay, with the Eight of Swords. I am getting some, a little bit of overthinking going on there. So they might, they might stress themselves out a little bit about things, okay? 
Mm. Yeah, this could be something, uh, yeah, to do with their business. I don't know. They stress themselves out about it. So financial abundance might have been an issue in the past. Is what I'm getting. But with prosperity coming through, I feel like it won't be an issue. So this could be past uh, thought patterns that sometimes emerge here, okay? Just something to be aware of, right? If they're overthinking, you know, just try to help them through. Um, you know, be a good listener. You know, maybe they need somebody to talk to. Let their, like, vent. Yeah, they might need someone to, like, vent these worries or something. Okay. Let's see. What can crystal number three expect in this relationship? Why the king of pentacles? The five of cups. Hmm. Yeah, see? Now this is, I feel, the five of cups is about disappointment. I feel like your person, this is what this was about. This is why your person might have these, you know, intrusive thoughts or negative thought patterns. It's surrounding abundance. I am feeling like maybe your person in the past, they might have, you know, been made to feel like money was, you know, their worth, okay? They might still have a little bit of working through that to do, okay? Realizing that money isn't everything and money doesn't denote their worth. You know, it doesn't, their value isn't based on a number. They might have always felt like not enough. And again, this is just something to be aware of, right? So if they're feeling that way, you know, reassurance sometimes can really be helpful, right? Six of Wands. Let's see why the Six of Wands. So success. They do want to offer you the stability. And it could be that they were always made to feel like they weren't enough. So they just want to be enough for you. So I guess if, if you're the type of person who is wanting material things and wealth and, you know, always striving for that, it could stress them out because they're feeling like they're not enough, okay? Let's see, crystal, okay, it hit the floor. Give me one second. This is beautiful. The Ten of Cups, yeah, see? Six of Wands, Ten of Cups. This is what they want, the happily ever after with you. So you can expect to be happy. Now this card is about divine union as well, which I was picking up on the first card out. Uh, divine connection coming together in success, okay? This is also about marriage, powerful heart fulfillment. So I feel like you can both expect here to be very fulfilled, very much in love. There's harmony as well. Beautiful. Expect the happily ever after. This is what this person is wanting to give you. Again, they do have this, you know, and, and again, it's not, not saying anything negative about the person at all, you know, to have these um, thought patterns come up. It's something that was conditioned in them that maybe they're still struggling to release, okay? Knight of Wands. And we all have that. We all have fears, insecurities, things like that, that come up. And, you know, it's just about being aware. So that way, you know, you know maybe how to deal with it. Okay, what can um, crystal number three expect in a relationship with their person? Knight of Wands. I feel like there's marriage. Ooh, there's marriage on the table here with this Ten of Cups too. We have two for the Knight of Wands. Ooh, nice. So, yeah, they want to give you the love, the passion that you deserve, okay? Justice, balance, this is beautiful. Getting the love that you deserve. And now with the moon card, I am feeling like if in the past they didn't truly tell you how they felt, I feel like this is saying expect it to come out, okay? Expect how they truly feel about you to kind of 
flow is what I'm getting. They're going to trust their intuition, trusting their intuition, which is good. And, you know, follow signs. They might be getting signs um, as well to move forward with this Knight of Wands. Bring this balance into the connection. I feel like you can expect peace and harmony and the love that you deserve here. Especially with that following the Ten of Cups out. Beautiful. Eight of Swords. What can Crystal Number 3 expect in this relationship with their person? Please. So we have a little bit of negative thought patterns surrounding prosperity was what I was feeling there. Let's see. For Crystal Number 3, please. Why is this Eight of Swords here, Spirit? Oh, thank you. Four of Cup. Yeah, they don't want to disappoint you. They fear disappointing you. Whoa. Okay. So they might get up in their head a little bit, fearing that they're going to disappoint you. I do feel like this is a past wound that is coming up to the surface. However, once they work through it and they realize that you're not disappointed by them, that they are your happily ever after too, because I feel like for both of you, you're feeling the same thing. You know, you could be even feeling this as well. You know, maybe you feel you're not um, successful or abundant enough financially, okay? Maybe you feel that way too. I feel like I'm almost feeling like we have a coin and this person's on one side and you're on the other. You're, you're like one, okay? You're both kind of having similar experiences surrounding this, whatever this is here with this financial thing, okay? Um, but I feel like you can expect to overcome it together, okay? I do feel like you're on the same page and you do, you are gonna have beautiful success. So much success coming through in the first two cards and then the 10 of cups as well with justice. This, this relationship is going to work out. You, you guys just will need to work through the overthinking together i feel okay let's see what else for crystal number three let's get some oracle cards love i love it crystal number three see oh i can't put the cards back here's your card let me fight with my deck here there we go love you can expect love beautiful heart Look at that, that beautiful red. It's like your hearts beat for one another. Wow. Mm. There's a strong connection here. Heart to heart connection. It's beautiful. Very beautiful. What can crystal number three expect in this relationship with their person? So I feel like this person wants to love you properly. They want to give to you. They want to provide a stable future for you. And I feel like they can with the King of Pentacles coming out first. I feel like it's just their mind telling them they can't or telling them that they're not enough. Yeah. Ooh, guys, lots of passion. Go wild. Full moon in Leo. Lots of passion between you. So I feel like there's a an intense physical attraction here. So you're going to have lots of beautiful time together. Okay. Intimate moments. Go wild. Uh, also something about courage. So I feel like your person is going to be very courageous and, you know, stand up, protect you, um, be that, that strong force. Yeah. That strong force in your life, like that lion there. Something about Arizona and a cactus. Okay. Ooh. Let's see what else. Oh, yeah. Whoa, guys. Crystal number three, card 22. Okay. Yin Yang. This is one of the top twin flame energies in this deck for me as a reader. This is all about balance. Balancing the internal because we all have divine feminine and divine masculine energy within okay 
I feel like this is both of you, both balancing those energies within and coming together as a balanced force. Oof. You guys, power couple. Hmm, power couple energy here with that yin yang. Interesting. Expect big things, crystal number three. Beautiful love, marriage. And of course, not everybody desires marriage, okay? And I've been saying this a lot lately, so I feel like some of you don't, and that's fine, of course. You know, everyone is their own person, and everyone has their own belief systems. However, it's a, a level of commitment that you're desiring here. If, you know, if you don't resonate with marriage, that's fine. However, whatever the the best type of love commitment for you would be, okay? Hmm balance with justice too there's going to be a lot of harmony peace i mean i'm feeling that already it's not showing on the cards but i am feeling it already being grateful for one another beautiful this is a beautiful energy to share gratitude okay being in this energy of gratitude brings more things to be grateful for again expect beautiful great amazing things in this connection okay it's so beautiful and you know no relationship is perfect you know every relationship has issues and that's okay so if this stuff comes up and you need to lean on one another that's good i feel like you will be there for one another as well what else can crystal number three expect in this thank you relationship? <laughs> it flew away. Oop, and it's a her it's a hawk, which is a bird. <laughs> it flew away. Oh look, let spirit be your guide. So I feel like this is saying you can expect to be guided by spirit through this relationship, through the ups, the downs, the ins, the outs, the ebbs, the flows. Don't worry, everything's gonna work out. Have trust and faith in the divine, okay? Beautiful. Mm. I like this energy for you guys. Crystal number three, so much success and victory. Passion and love. Peace and harmony, like I said, I keep feeling that. I feel like you bring each other peace. Whoa another one hit the floor hold on <laughs> give me one second see if i can reach this one yep i was able to reach that one without pausing here we go higher power so this is a divine connection okay you're both really strongly connected to your guides to source okay this is a beautiful spiritual connection enjoy it you know i feel like this card is saying, expect your spirit to soar, okay? Coming out right underneath the hawk as well. It, there's going to be so much happiness here. Beautiful. What can crystal number three expect in this relationship with their person? We have, ooh, nice. And ooh, beautiful. Look at this. Expect to be uplifted, to elevate, to ascend, she who rises up, pearl. Pearls could be important to someone too. I just heard pearl necklace. And then she who emerges, Kamala, enlightenment, mindfulness, and rise up. Once again, you guys are going to rise together. Okay, this is so, so beautiful. Whoops, so, so beautiful. You are going to rise together. Yeah, power couple. Mm-hmm. Expect great things. What else? Hmm? I was just going to say, this is weird. Divine timing. I'm told to take that one, too. Divine timing is at work. Okay. That one's at the bottom. And then we have fairy door. Timelines are shifting as a portal opens. Oh, interesting. The portal is opening. So if this is someone returning with that first energy out, 
I feel like that portal is opening now. Divine timing is at work. Interesting. Also, we have 1116 on the clock. Okay, so that could be relevant for someone. November 16th. Okay, fairy door though. So the timeline, again, I don't feel like this, is, well, I guess it is something to expect in this relationship. <laughs> if you're not in contact with this person, expect the timeline to open up. Divine timing is at work. Things are about to shift into place here, okay? So expect a powerful shift coming up. If this is, again, I feel like for some of you, this is someone you might have lost touch with a little bit. You had feelings for it, never came together. They could be coming back around. It's time now, okay? All right, crystal number three, that is what I have for you for today. I really do hope you found the reading helpful. I am going to go into the extended now where we're going to get even more information about this situation. If you are going to the extended, I will see you there. And if not, please trust that you received all of the information that you need right here in this reading, okay? I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.